In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can use InfoWorks ICM to schedule a series of runs across a work group of different computers. To get things started, we need a simple model network and a rainfall file containing multiple profiles. Each profile will create a simulation in its own right. To start things going, we press the Run Simulation button, at which point InfoWorks will query all of the machines in the work group and we're given a choice of where we want to do the run. By default, we're given the option of doing all the runs on this computer. However, if we drop the drop down down, we have the option of choosing any computer within the work group. Now, as it happens in this instance, we actually have got four other computers in the work group, and you can see them listed here in the list. Each machine is referenced by its own unique host name, and in brackets, it'll show you the number of concurrent runs that are possible on that particular machine. In this particular example, each machine has been set up just to do a single run at a time. So if a machine is given more than one run to do, the others will sit in the queue. If we select the Any Computer option, then all our runs will be evenly distributed amongst all of the computers in the work group. However, if we want, we can specify that we want all of the runs to be done on another machine, or indeed, all of the runs to be done on this machine. I'm going to select the Any Computer option, and that will then distribute our runs and effectively load balance the demand of the simulations across all of the available machines in the network. All the results will be brought back to my own machine and we'll see that happen. And we're going to let the simulation control uh, with the resources of the PC. So if the PC has multiple cores and multiple processors, InfoWorks ICM will use that to the optimum effect. We could, however, if we wish, limit the number of processors used by a particular simulation so that that machine could be used for other tasks. We're going to specify that the runs will start as soon as possible and then press OK. All of the runs are now set up and we can expand this particular part of the dialog and we can see them all sitting here waiting in the queue. Once the runs are active, we'll start to see which computers have been issued the runs. So in this particular case, we can see that the first two runs have indeed been assigned to two different machines. A third run is initializing and we'll start to see the machine it's been assigned to once it starts running. Once runs are finished, those results are downloaded from those computers back to the computer that we're sitting using here. And once that process is complete, the runs are marked as ended. So as the sequence carries on, we can see lots of different runs all kicking off and being sent to different machines within the work group. And eventually we will see the maximum number of runs being run with any further runs waiting in the queue. As the runs finish, the results are downloaded and we'll see the process, progress of that process until eventually all of the runs have been completed, all of the results have been downloaded and we are left with a report of which machines conducted which simulations and for the ones that are left running we can see that they are in fact running on this computer where this machine is allowed to do up to four simulations concurrently and as they each finish those results are then brought back and down into the, this computer's own results store. So that's an example of setting up and running multiple simulations across a pool of workgroup machines using InfoWorks ICM. 